Hey, YouTubers. It's Mary once again. I've been gone for mm, a little bit, maybe a, a couple of weeks. Just been busy, busy, busy. Writing projects and just different things. But um, I thought I'd make a video, a short video today. It's been, oh man, today has been a, uh, a rough day, but I made it. I had a, an appointment with my MS, my neuro, neuro doctor, and um, I usually don't go out the freeway, but I don't know, I just got kind of bold, had enough coffee in me to get on the freeway in the rain. I'm going 75 miles an hour and had a blowout, like, I mean, right at the exit off the freeway. And I heard it, and I said, somebody hit my car, and I said, and I felt the wheels shaking. So I said, this is me, and I got off the freeway, because I was going to get off at that exit anyway. But I was able to pull over, and, and instead of being on a service road, I I kept on going until I got into a uh, one of the towers parking lots, and I called the AAA, and and it took them a while, but I called my um, the neurosurgeon, uh, not neurosurgeon, but the MS clinic, and canceled that appointment because I knew I wasn't gonna be on time. It took forty five minutes for the tow truck, the AAA guy to get there, but he uh, put the 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 donut on and. I got going again, and I went to Discount Tires and got me another tire. But while I was sitting there waiting on the tire, I was reflecting, you know, just saying, God, because I was talking to my son, and I said, hey, it's, it's a, I don't know how y'all get in there traffic and do what you got to do every day, and it's, it's like a hustle and a fight, a struggle. I said, how do y'all do it? He said, Mama, you used to do this every day, seven days a week. We we would be off, and you still getting on a freeway going work, going to work. I said, Ooh, I forgot. But I've been I've been in the house, and I man, it was. But I I didn't panic, you know. But while I was sitting there waiting on the time to get ready. I remembered a dream I had three days ago, and I told I had told my son about the dream. And in the dream, I heard a big noise, bam! Sound like a gunshot, and it was it was so real till I grabbed the back of my head. I said, "Oh, somebody shot me!" And I, I come to myself. I said, "Can't nobody shoot me in my bed? The gun up under the bed? What?" And I realized that was a dream. But while I'm sitting at the tire shop, I remembered that the sound of the tire blowing out was exactly like the sound in my dream. So I'm thinking that this possibly was me seeing what was going to happen in my dream because the sound was identical. So, you know, when you have these dreams, it, it doesn't mean you're going to just... Uh, oh my glasses. And these are new glasses. What in the world? But it doesn't mean uh, literally that you dream you're going to get shot in the head, but it was a blowout. That's what I was going to have. But I maneuvered and went through and did what I had to do and made it on back home, did a little shopping and came on home. But as I was driving, I was thinking, because the freeways, they got all these lanes changing and you have to really pay attention. The whole time I'm driving, I'm thinking peaceful thoughts and the fear. And I I kept telling myself mantras, fear is not real. And God has not given me a spirit of fear and this and that. So I was driving. I, and I made it. I made it to my exit and then a blowout. So I said, before I had the blowout, as I was calming down, traffic was lighting up a little bit, I thought about peace and um, when I was younger the only peace that I could find was reading the Bible going to church and finding peace that way 
And then when I left the church, I learned to find nirvana a different way. And that kind of peace doesn't cost you any money. It doesn't threaten you because for me, the peace that I got from Christianity or whatever, it really wasn't peace. It was peace that was lined with fear because you sought peace from God because you were afraid. You know how a, a kid is afraid and they run and get in the bed with their mother or father, but the storm is still out there and they still are afraid. But that's that's the kind of peace I got from Christianity. But the the real real peace, it, it you still have to remember how to achieve it and because you already have it but distractions as well hey sonny <laughs> distractions is what make you lose your sight on peace but you know whatever way you find your peace I, i'm not saying that christianity is not a way of peace because the buddhist monks they find peace too but whatever way brings you peace Remember, I always remember that way, meditation or scriptures or whatever, but keep that in mind, you're peace. And um, I'm not giving up on driving or anything. I, I just <laughs> I just don't drive that much. I, my car is a, a 2008 Hyundai, and I bought it brand new. I mean, what, six miles on it, 2008, and... That car has served me well, and I only have 58,000 miles on it. And the man at the tire shop, he said, ma'am, you don't drive, do you? I said, no, I mean, I drive where I have to go, but I, I don't have to work. So, and it's not like I, I'm planning on selling a car. I'm, I I don't know. We never know. I'm, I'm looking forward to buying me another brand new car that I don't pay for it with my money. Because <laughs> that, that 2008 that was a gift from the gods so the same god that gift me with that will send multitudes of blessings on me so but just came to give this little message about your dreams and to pay attention to your dreams sometimes you can't remember your dreams it it you know but that 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 gunshot sound i remember that and i told my son about it he said mommy you're not gonna get shot in the head that, that dream don't mean that i said I, I don't i don't think that i said I'm, I'm just telling you what i dream just in case i get shot in my head and then when i was telling about the tire blow up blow out and i told him about I remember that it was the same sound. He said, well, that's what that dream meant. And that's, that's really what it was. But anyway, guys, I'm getting off of here. I was just reporting in. I'm doing great, doing fine. Everybody's good. Just got a lot of writing, writing things to do on my plate. So, and I love writing. So that's just what I do. Remember, if you have a story you want told, I will help you do it, okay? Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.